rolling? Tape is rolling. Yes. And I'm going to jail. <laughs> You should be present at the editing, just in case this might be did, cut. Did you find the Zoom? Oh, yes. No, I, I was that. afraid of that. Both <laughs> All right, Andre, ask okay, away. let's go. Dr. Wolf, about a week ago, this young man appeared at your door and began filming you. And I would like to ask Adam what his experience here has been for him. It's been very uplifting. And I must say, when I, when I first arrived at the door, I did not know what to expect. And uh, I think I've received quite an education in the few days that I've spent here. And going up to the ashrama was also a very uplifting experience that I think uh, brought home to me some of the faith that Dr. Wolf has inspired. Joe? Well, I would just say, Dr. Wolf, what do you think of being interviewed and being on television? Well, it's a test of my equanimity. Um, novel experience, totally beyond any expectation that I had in this connection. It makes me feel that I've become something that belongs to the world rather than to myself. I would say that is the main feeling about it. I might formulate my main purpose. There is an ancient tradition that it is possible that the individual, when the time of transition comes, may renounce his privilege or his right to enter into a state of bliss and take up what he can of the burden of this humanity. That is an objective very largely formulated in the voice of the silence. It is a path that has appealed to me. To not abandon a suffering humanity, but to render as far as may be redemption of all creatures more available. That I would recommend as, as the path which may be chosen by any who feel they wish to go that way. That's my message tonight. <laughs>